it's Bonnie. Happy Saturday. I am back. Oh my gosh, you guys. I got such a late start this morning. I got up late. I went to a rummage sale with my mom and my daughter. I came home. I took a nap. It is freezing out, but sunny. So uh, yeah, it's almost five o'clock and I am just getting started. Check it out. I got a Hawaiian pun shirt. Is this not adorable? I got this at Hot Topic. How about a nice Hawaiian punch? Remember these from the 70s? I had to get this. This looks so cute um, with jeans. And it's super comfortable. So um, I thought about doing a video about like something punchy. <laughs> and I couldn't find anything. I'm like, oh my gosh. Uh, Bath and Body Works Pink Apple Punch. And then that berry fruit punch candle are like the only punchy candles that I found. I'm thinking Bath and Body Works needs to do like a punch collection. Actually, uh, Break Christmas Morning kind of smells like punch to me. Um, but that's like a Christmas scent. Yeah. Uh, I don't like Break Christmas Morning. I don't know why it gave me a thumbs up. So what I'm going to talk about today, because I haven't done this yet, I'm going to talk about both Dressed in White and first sight, which I keep calling at first sight. It's just first sight. This is the wedding collection. So what Bath and Body Works um, is doing is creating like this beautiful display based on like wedding motif, which actually was a good idea marketing wise. Um, this has been a long time in the making. I swear I heard rumors about this like a year ago and they just launched it. It's a beautiful collection. I gotta say the packaging is nice. They used the faceted top on here and um, it's pretty. It definitely looks like my kind of wedding. I like the flowers. My wedding, I had, oh my gosh, 23 years ago. I think I got married 23 years ago. <laughs> like once you hit 20, you're like, when, how long have I been married? I think I've been married 23 years. Um, I would have used this like design. I got married in 2001. So that was about uh, the time, you know, I, I think I used pink and I <laughs> kind of like a steel magnolias thing. I used like blush and what was the other one? She had like two pinks in her wedding. I think I had like mauve and pink. I don't know. It was a pinky thing going on. And I remember um, the cake actually was tilted. The, the baker delivered it. It was an expensive cake too. And it was kind of falling down, but it was all good. We still ate it. So anyway, um, I feel like since I got married, weddings are, oh my gosh, weddings are huge. Oh my gosh. People spend months planning weddings. I did not. Um, my mother-in-law actually worked at a party center. We threw our wedding together. It was really, really fun. I gotta say, um, we had an amazing wedding. People were dancing. We had an amazing DJ. Uh, my friend Lenny was like the secondary dance captain. <laughs> like he literally got everyone in the entire wedding dancing. I mean, it was actually like a really fun party. <laughs> <laughs> so I have fond memories of um, my wedding. I don't have a lot of pictures. I mean, I have some pictures, but um, we actually have our wedding video is on VHS, which just shows you how old I actually am. So when Beth and Body Works brought out Dressed in White, I'm like, it's a cute idea. I think a lot of people might um, think this is cute for like a wedding party gift. And then of course they did the men's version, which is first sight. I'm not sure if the men would necessarily get this as a... Um, a gift. I don't know though. I'm I'm old. I'm over 50. I don't know what the trends are right now um, for weddings. So dressed in white is pear blossoms, ivory gardenia, and satin woods. I gotta say, I don't love it. This is not a scent um, that I would gravitate to. It's too woodsy for me. A lot of people love it. I gotta say. Um, I was surprised at how many people said they really liked this scent. It's definitely not my scent. There's kind of an odd note on me on the dry down that um, smells a little sour. I just can't get on board with the scent. Uh, someone had mentioned they would have liked to have seen like buttercream frosting. I would have liked to have seen that too. It. I would like to see like the wedding collection smell like the wedding cake. That would have actually been fun. So um, this is definitely a floral woodsy scent. It's fairly strong. Um, on the dry down, but there's kind of like an odd sour note in there. So it's not my thing. 
I tried First Sight. Oddly enough, I like First Sight better. This is Italian bergamot, rich woods, and sugared musk. Sugared musk, you guys. Oh my gosh. I would have rather had a Hawaiian punch set for my wedding. <laughs> Shows how odd I am. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me... Oh, I can't unlock it, you guys. Why isn't this opening? Okay, lock. Unlock. Okay, I think I got it now. There we go. Okay. I actually like first sight this has got got like a dry note in it that's so appealing i don't know apparently i like sugared musk uh this has got rich woods um rich woods are more appealing than satin woods to me that's another note i could actually do a whole rant on the woods seriously um oh by the way i got my tea earlier but then i switched to water so that's why i got my cute little pink cup there um I was going to do a live tonight, but I still don't trust my voice. I just don't want to get into, like, a coughing attack while I'm doing a live. Not a good thing. Um, yeah, I like this one. I, I don't know. Italian bergamot must be nicer than regular bergamot. Um, it's just a really nice... It smells like, like, a study. You know? Like, it's got, like, that old world... It... it <laughs> It probably, I don't know if this is a good thing, it's probably not a good thing, but it probably smells Harry Potter connection, uh, more like the Malfoy estate. Um, it smells elegant, it smells rich, is what it smells like, which is funny because it's rich woods. Um, it does, it has that elegant, like, um, really wealthy kind of scent to it. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of in the 80s. Remember they had those like, um, those Calvin Klein ads or like, you know, Ralph Lauren Polo, you know, someone riding their horse. It, it, it kind of has like a barn, like an expensive tack room quality to me. I'm, I'm doing all these uh, barn references lately. So that's kind of what this one reminds me of. And um, I actually like it. I, I shared it with my husband and he was like, yeah, I would totally wear that. So we're totally on board with uh, First Sight. He would wear this. I like it. So that's a good thing. Um, he actually did not like Dressed in White either because I, I asked him to smell Dressed in White and he was like, ugh, that doesn't smell good on you. <laughs> Which when you've been married 20 years, you can, <laughs> that doesn't smell good on you. <laughs> So uh, that was a different, um, uh, like, I don't know, just a different scent note. I think he'd prefer a Hawaiian punch uh, scent, too. <laughs> so anyway, um, is this a collection that I think is going to have staying power? I don't know. It's like, I, I, I don't think it's going away anytime soon. I think Bath & Body Works is probably going to keep this going, at least for the summer. I mean, it's going to take up table space. I don't know if this is eventually going to move to a sidewall. And it's just going to be like um, a permanent collection. You know, I'm not sure. I'm really curious to see, is there going to be like a part two? Or are they going to keep this going? I don't know. So interesting collection. Very pretty. There is a cologne and a, um, a perfume. I'm not even going to bother with those unless it's really cheap at some annual. I don't think I'd get that. I do have the candle that I got during one of the candle sales. And um, I don't even, I don't even know if I want to burn it. It smells, believe it or not a little bit better in the candle than it does in the body care for me. It's pretty, though. Um, I'll probably put this in my collection just to have, just because it's pretty. So anyway, um, there you have it. Let me know your thoughts on the wedding collection, and um, I will be back. I have a really big uh, Slackening Company homeworks haul to share with you in a little bit. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.